so now we'll discuss about the in that trial balance what items will appear on the debit side and the credit side so in the before class we note some points now so what are that points is all assets have an a debit balance so what are that assets current assets and the fixed assets current assets means any asset which can be converted into cash within a period of one year is known as an a current assets examples of current assets is cash debtors bills receivable like that fixed assets means what fixed assets means any asset which cannot be converted into cash within period of one year okay that fixed assets are fixed in nature that is plant and machinery buildings okay any stock like that okay so all assets have an a debit balances and all liabilities have an a credit balances liabilities means uh, which are due to pay to the outsiders like that next is capital account has an a credit balances next in the trial balance closing stock is not included but we write opening stock okay next is drawing account has an a debit balances okay next any reserves and provision such as an a general reserves provision for doubtful debts and reserve for discount on debtors will show the credit balances however reserve for discount on creditors will show an a debit balances now see here so write that uh, write that items which appear in debit side and the credit side very very important debit balances credit balances debit balances and credit balances okay another sundry debtors sundry debtors bank balance sundry debtors bank balance next any advanced loans given loan or advance given next is drawing account next is prepaid expenses next is prepaid expenses purchases account next opening stock
opening stock next is returns inward returns inward means sales returns returns inwards or sales returns okay returns inwards or sales returns next is land and buildings okay land and buildings plant and machinery next is furniture next any investments next goodwill goodwill is also asset na intangible asset goodwill next discount allowed discount allowed carriage inwards and outwards carriage inwards and outwards next is so all the expenses and losses come under the debit balances okay all expenses and losses will come on which side will come on debit side what are that uh, expenses and losses such as any salaries salaries rent and uh, bad debts so etc okay so what are the relating to the expenses advertisement taxes carriage so like that all the expenditure expenses and losses will come under the debit side next see what items will come under the credit side is sundry credit cards next is bank overdraft bank overdraft next is any loan taken any loan taken next is capital accounts capital account next is outstanding expenses
next is outstanding expenses next is sales account next returns outwards account return outwards means return return outward account means what purchase returns returns outward account means purchase returns next is here all expenses and losses will come under debit side now so under this credit side all incomes and gains all incomes and gains so what are that uh, incomes and gains are see here such as interest received interest received next is rent received commission received commission received next is discount received discount received next is provision for doubtful debts provision for doubtful debts okay provision for doubtful debts next is provision for provision for discount on datas provision for discount on datas next is general reserves next is general reserves discount received next okay so these are the various items will come under this debit balances and credit balances okay now we will see the problem okay so after writing this see the problem prepare trial balance from the following balances okay 
capital rupees sixteen thousand eight hundred drawings five thousand stock opening opening means opening stock okay opening stock is twenty one thousand purchases purchases is rupees thirty six thousand sales sales is seventy two thousand discount allowed is seven hundred purchase returns two thousand sales returns three thousand debtors is rupees four thousand five hundred creditors rupees six thousand seven hundred wages twelve hundred and cash is twenty six thousand one hundred now right here this items where it will be appear capital account is which side either debit side or credit side so capital is credit side drawings debit side opening stock debit side purchases debit side sales credit side discount allowed is debit side purchase returns is which side credit side sales returns debit side debtors debit side creditors credit side wages debit side cash debit side okay now we will prepare the trial balance so what is the pro forma of trial balance so date is given in this problem no date is not given particulars lf number debit amount credit amount particulars lf number debit debit amount credit amount debit amount credit amount so first is capital capital which side credit side is 16800 next is drawings Drawings is rupees five thousand. Next is opening stock. Opening stock. Opening stock is twenty one thousand. Purchases Purchases rupees thirty six thousand. 
Next sales. Sales amount is seventy-two thousand. Discount allowed. Discount allowed. Discount allowed is seven hundred. Purchase returns. Purchase returns is which side? Either debit side or credit side. Credit side. Okay, so this purchase returns amount is rupees two thousand. Next sales returns. Sales returns is debit side balance is three thousand. Next is debtors. Debtors amount is rupees four thousand five hundred. Next creditors. Creditors, creditors rupees is six thousand seven hundred. Creditors is six thousand seven hundred. Next wages. Wages. Wages rupees is twelve hundred. Next is cash. Cash amount is rupees twenty six thousand one hundred. Okay, so these are the total items. Okay, now totals. First, do the totals of debit side. Five thousand plus twenty one thousand plus thirty six thousand plus seven hundred plus three thousand plus four thousand five hundred plus one thousand two hundred plus twenty six thousand one hundred. Is debit side total is ninety seven thousand five hundred. Okay, now credit side is sixteen thousand eight hundred plus thirty six thousand plus twenty six thousand one hundred plus three thousand plus four thousand plus five thousand plus six thousand seven hundred. Okay, so trial balance. Valid. Okay, this is a problem.
Okay, let's see the next problem. Okay. Now see this problem. Prepare a trial balance as on 31st July 2009 from the following balances of Mr. Rajvansh. So particular amount, particular amount, capital 10,000, which side, credit side, sales returns, debit. Drawings, debit, capital, which side, credit side. Next, bills payable, which side, credit side. Sales, credit side. Furniture, which side, debit side. Credit arts, credit side. Interest received, credit side. Purchase returns, credit side. Wages, debit side. Bank overdraft. Credit side, opening stock which side, debit side, cash, debit, purchases, debit, drawings, debit, sorry, rent, debit, bad debts, debit, bills receivable, debit, debtors, debit. Okay. Now, we do this problem. Trial balance of Mr. Rajvansh as on thirty first. July two thousand nine. Sorry. Particulars, LF number, debit amount, debit amount, credit amount. Okay. So first capital. Capital is ten thousand. Sales returns one 
1000 drawings Five thousand bills payable. Bills payable rupees five thousand sales. Sales rupees fifteen thousand furniture furniture rupees two thousand. Interest received. So furniture after furniture, credit cards. Credit cards rupees twelve thousand. Next interest received. Interest received one thousand five hundred. Purchase returns. Purchase returns is two thousand. Five hundred next wages wages rupees five hundred. Bank overdraft. Bank overdraft is eight thousand seven hundred. Next is opening stock fifteen thousand next cash. Cash rupees two thousand five hundred. Next purchases. Purchases rupees nine thousand. Rent Rent rupees one thousand
the tars and bad dates data are sent bad dates rupees 14500 plus bad dates rupees 700 total is how much 14500 plus 700 is 15200 next last is bills receivable bills receivable amount is three thousand five hundred okay this is the trial balance okay now we'll do the totals okay so do the first debit side one thousand plus 5000 plus 2000 plus 500 plus 15000 plus 2500 plus 9000 plus 1000 plus 15200 Plus three thousand five hundred. Okay, so the total of the debit side is fifty four thousand seven hundred. Okay, total of the debit side is fifty four thousand seven hundred. Now do the total of credit side. Ten thousand plus five thousand plus fifteen thousand. Place twelve thousand. Place fifteen hundred. Place two thousand five hundred. Place eight thousand seven hundred. Okay. Total of the credit side is also fifty four thousand seven hundred. Okay. This is a trial balance. Okay. this is our today's class i'll give homework problem to you do that problem <laughs>